Today's lesson is going to look at pattern rules, so let's get started. I made this pattern by doing the same operation over and over again. Do you know the operation? Well, an operation, when it comes to math, is one of four things. It's either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And in this case, the pattern is going up. So that means it can only be addition or multiplication. And the operation in this case is addition. And we are adding by four, so plus four. So let's do the same thing with the following examples. This one's going five, 10, 20, 40. It's going up, so it's either addition or multiplication. So addition or multiplication, and it is multiplication. It is being multiplied by two. So times two. This one here is going down, so that means it's either subtraction or division, and it is going down by three each time. So it's subtracting three. And this one here is also decreasing, so it's either subtraction or division, and it is decreasing by a lot. So it gives us an idea that it's division, and each number is being divided by two. So divide by two. So we use a pattern rule to write the next five terms. Start at three, add four each time. Start at four, add three each time. Start at one, multiply by three each time. And the last one, start at three and multiply one each time. When you multiply a number by one, you get the same number. So the pattern was made by repeating one operation. Let's figure this out. Which operation is it? Well, in this case here, it's addition, add one. The next term is 36. Start at 33 and add one. This next example, two, eight, 14. It is increasing and you guessed it, you're adding six. Next term is 20, start at two and add six. The next one is also increasing. So this has to be either uh, addition or multiplication and it is going up by a lot. So it is multiplication. And if you said times 10, you got it right. The next term is 3000, start at three and multiply 10. The last example is going down. So it's either subtraction or division. If you guess division, you are correct. The next term is four. Start at 32 and divide by two. So here's an example we did in class. A baby is born weighing 2,500 grams and gains 200 grams per week. After how many weeks does the baby weigh 3,300 grams? So here are some, these are three strategies used in class. Start at 2,500, add 200, that gives you 2,700, add 200, and so on until you got 300. So that equals four weeks, because as you can see here, it's one, two, three, and four. This next group did something interesting. They took the final weight. They took the final weight and they subtracted it by the starting weight, which is 800. So the difference is 800 grams. If each week it's going up by 200 grams, they divided it and they got four weeks. That's a great way to do it. And the last way, Six, just like the previous slide, start at 2,500, add 200 each time. So then I asked my class to put it in a T-chart. And a T-chart is your best friend when it comes to early algebra. And this is what the T-chart looks like. So write a pattern rule in words. A plant that is 14 centimeter tall grows three centimeters each day. So our pattern rule would be start at 14 and add three. The next one says a baby that is 50 centimeters tall grows one centimeter each week, making our pattern rule start at 50 and add one. The last example, a pencil shrinks two centimeters each month from being sharpened. A new pencil is 18 centimeters long. This one's a little bit trickier because the final answer is at the end, start at 18 and subtract two. A plant that is 11 centimeters tall grows eight centimeters each week. How tall is the plant after four weeks? Well, this is where the T-chart comes into play. So we can say weeks and we can say height. So a plant grows 11 centimeters, sorry, is 11 centimeters tall and it grows eight centimeters each week. So we're gonna assume that this is week zero and it is 11 centimeters tall. After one week, it grows eight centimeters. So you add eight 
and that would make it 19. After two weeks, again, you're adding eight, plus eight brings us to 27. After three weeks, you're adding eight, 27 plus eight is 35. And one more week to go, add eight, four weeks would be 43 centimeters. So it would be 43 centimeters tall. A pencil that is 13 centimeters long gets sharpened and shrinks two centimeters each month. How long is the pencil after three months? Once again, let's get the T-chart. We're gonna call this side month. And this side is length of the pencil. So we're gonna assume zero is going to start the month. It is 13. And in this one here, we're subtracting two. So after one month, it's 11 centimeters. After two months, again, we're subtracting two. It is nine centimeters. And it asks for three months. Again, you are subtracting two, making it seven centimeters. Well, let's look at this example here. The sequence was made by repeatedly adding or subtracting a number, find the missing number. Well, these two go up and this number is higher. So the missing number here is six. We're adding two each time. This is also going up. Now the clue here for me is right over here. There's a difference of four or it's going up by four. So let's see if it works. If I put seven there, because three plus four is seven. Seven plus four is 11. That works. You are adding four. Look at the last slide. This sequence was made by repeatedly adding a number. Write the pattern rule. So this is where you're going to have to do some guessing and checking. But this is what your answers are going to look like. So let's look at the first three that I have done for you already. I, I, what I did here was figure out that 30 was the missing number. And here's a little trick that I used. I took 65 minus five, it gave me an answer of 60. And I divided this one by two, it gave me 30. So if you do it for this one here, 65 minus five equals 60. I divided it by three, it gives me 20. So that means I'm adding 20 each time. Okay, 65 minus five gives me 60, divided by four, it gives me 15. That means I'm adding 15 each time, okay? And the reason why you're dividing by one more number, see, there's only three uh, spots here, but you're dividing by four because you're actually gonna include this one here. We're gonna look at this one now, 65 minus five equals 60. Divide this by five, it gives you 12. That means you're adding 12 each time. And the final one, 65 minus five equals 60. Divide this by six is 10. That means you're adding 10 each time, okay? This one you could have done guess and check. I just did my little trick because I like doing little tricks in math. So the pattern rule for each one, I haven't written it, but you would start at five, add 30. For this one here, you start at five, add 20. Start at five, add 15. Start at five, add 12. Start at five and add 10. So that is the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.